Welcome back. Let's take a look at what I failed last time before we dive right in. So, if I've played particularly bad moves or a complex game, sometimes the opponent will analyze the game or the site analyzes it, I don't know. And these puzzles get produced. And these puzzles emphasize moments in a game where I played one move and an AI would have played a different move. So, or an engine would have played a different move. Um, so in this position, there's a choice between moving the gold to 7-7 seven, seven, or the knight to 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm pretty sure five times out of five, I would select moving the gold up to defend the bishop's head. But in the game, that ended up being quite a problem. So let's take a look at this move, shall we? Also... My audio is really loud. Let's turn that down. Why is this move any good? Oh, the issue point is actually taken care of. They have two pieces attacking, but if I capture, then they're only going to have one piece attacking. And then my rook can swing over to deal with it. So this actually launches a counterattack instead of defending passively. If they take this, the rook moves to 8-5 here, and we have a rook exchange. Well, at the very worst. It could be even better, actually, if I drop a pawn and the rook takes this pawn, and then my rook moves over unopposed. Who knows where we end up. Um, I played the super cautious move that ended up being extremely painful over many turns. Uh, so I went from a slightly better position to a slightly worse one by blocking my bishop in a way that was hard to reverse. Interesting, eh? That said, let's get to it. Let's play some 10-minute games. 10-minute games are fun, right? Let's do it. Good luck. Third file rook. Interesting. Let's play third file rook against somebody whose favored strategy is third file rook and see how you're supposed to play it. Uh, we just saw a banner flash at the top of the screen, or on my opponent's piece stand, that said two winning. That means our opponents won two games in a row. Um, possibly something has disrupted their attention, or is distracting them, or maybe there's a technology issue. Nope. But they're back now. We can play our game. Um... I've always wanted to do a little bit more of this static rook strategy stuff. It seems pretty fun. Um, all right. Let me think about how to improve my position without... Hmm, I don't know. It's hard to say. There's a lot going on here. Um... Let's defend the three center points. Welcome. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm, hmm. I did miss their profile information, but also I'm playing in a way that hides player names. I don't know if I drill down to view player information, if that might also reveal the player name. Um, so I might just let it be for now. Uh, still, they could have something super fun on their profile. It'd be fun to know, wouldn't it? Um, well, this is interesting. Look at this development. How did we get here? All right, I will unblock my rook. My rook is no longer blocked. Hooray. Do I dare? This game is going so well. Do I want to mess it up by taking the pawn? You know I do. Um, I'm not even sure that messes it up. This game's just going well in general. Alright. You got my curiosity. Show me what's up. 
You know, I was debating rapidly building a fortress here, like silver up, gold up, gold up, but it's not necessary, is it? If they try to drop a bishop, I can trap it, right? Am I missing something? Pawn up, general, I retreat, general moves up again, I sack, and then I've trapped their bishop. I don't see a problem here. Um, also, I can drop a bishop. Like, I'm threatening to sack, drop, take here. That's not mate. It does take several pieces, but I think... What are we even doing? This looks too fun. We're going to do the fun move. We're going to die and have fun doing it. All right. So this threatens my silver. Um... Hmm. Nana If I had one more tempo, my bishop would be on this diagonal. I could actually take the silver. If I had just one more tempo. Instead, here I am advancing toward their castle with two extra pawns and this horse that's having a field day. In the most literal sense. So, this is interesting. And our proverb for the day, take two pieces for one, even if those pieces are pawns. You know what's about to happen. You know, we're going to observe some proverb. We're going to sack like there's no tomorrow. But, um, but only once we're forced to. And that'll happen momentarily here. I guess they could pursue this lance, but then I drop the bishop and this is loose immediately. They could move this up. Um, hmm. I could also drop here and threaten a rook exchange. Uh, I don't know if that works out well for me. Gotta try something. Alright, let's try this. So if they take the lance, I take this. Oh, then they drop this lance, and then I take a gold. Right, so we're not going there. We're going here instead. Um, that says sack for two, take two pieces for one. But this would be a two for two deal. Um, so let's not do that. Oh, I was considering taking this, and then I chickened out, because this attack looked too interesting. Um. Hmm. If they're careless, they take this immediately. If they're careful, they probably 
drop a lance and I just let it be. I'll take this. Okay, but yeah, I think this is slightly careless. Um, Go Fun. Oh, I don't have a bit. No, hang on. My head hurts trying to remember everything that's up in the air here. If I had a silver in hand, that silver could go here. If I had a bishop in hand, the bishop could go here. I don't have either of those pieces in hand. But I'm likely to get something soon. Um, mm -hmm. Now the silver's pinned to this gold. I don't have to take it. I'm going to take something soon anyway, but I don't have to take it. Hmm, that's annoying. It'd be nice to have a better exchange. So our opponent's observing the proverb, and I'm not. And that's why I lose. Well, what now? Knight's not going anywhere else. Let's use it. Use it or lose it. Hashtag not a proverb. Uh... This is going to be so messy. Well, I guess I've unblocked my pawn, so if I had three extra turns, I would take here. I kind of expected that. Um... Oh, I, I could have taken here. That could have been fun. I thought they had another pawn in hand. They don't. I don't think... Well... No, actually that breaks through really easily. So I don't think would be accurate. Um, but I could still drop a silver and then take it, and then take the bishop, but this is so... I definitely should have taken this. And then tried to stir up some other attack. Um... Okay. Let's see how many times the opponent changes their mind. Oh, interesting. Um. Something. Here we go. Just keep stepping forward. Okay. We're threatening this. Let's repeat once. All right, probably shouldn't have done this, but here we are. We all know earlier I should have taken that. It's too late now. Um, shit. That's called walking into a fork. You're not supposed to do that. Um, oh, well, I wasn't using the rook anyway. Um... 
I guess I could try to use it. It's gonna suck. But yeah, don't walk into a fork. I keep saying should be a proverb. Um, but perhaps it's just common sense. Okay, drop the final pawn, please. They have a night drop if I'm reckless. Otherwise, I would just go all the way back here. Hmm. This is so dumb. I should have taken that forever ago. And now I just don't have a way in. Um, Hmm. Let's use our pieces. There, you got a bishop. Are you happy? Is that what you wanted? You should be happy. It is a bishop. Um, Hmm. All right, I've got a bishop now. Okay, I guess I have a knight now. Well, I don't have it just yet. Boom. Where's the knight going? Okay, 
I could have taken the bishop. I'm not going to let you bluff me twice in the same game. I don't have a choice. I lose. Thanks for the game. Almost. Of course, better chances were could have been had had I just taken earlier in the game. Bishop takes Lance. But they win. That's my bad. What's our next proverb? What next proverb can I ignore? Drop. Good luck. Drop where your opponent wants to drop. All right. How can I ignore that one? How can I do the opposite of what that tells me to do? I want to be consistent when we play our games. Um... This is safe, right? Maybe? <laughs> How much fire am I playing with? Um... Drop where your opponent wants to drop. Okay. This file, right? Totally safe. Just doing what the proverb tells me to do. This seems fine, right? <laughs> drop where the opponent wants to drop. Is that where they want to drop? I don't know anymore. It looks fun. If the gold moves, if I take it, that's kind of fun. If the gold retreat or moves this way out of the attack, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Sure, let's do that. If I drop again, um, silver up, takes, king takes, gold drop, the rook escapes. Hmm. So are we saying my trickies don't work? Um, maybe. Here we go. Drop where the opponent wants to drop. Totally safe. Totally, completely, entirely something. <laughs> um, this might be a reaction to last game, as opposed to some statement about this game.
Still looks pretty cool. So this game, we've... I seem to continuously be giving up pawns to power my attack. Um, and I don't know just how bad this idea is. That's why we play. If we knew how good or bad these moves were, we'd have to play something else. Or we wouldn't bother playing the game. So, all right, let the good times roll. Oh, wait, if I push, they take, I take, yeah, if I take this, gold takes, I missed that. So, instead, I take here, and then promote here. Okay. Take a silver. And then we'll just keep promoting stuff. Right? I guess it helps to know what's a checkmate and what's not a checkmate. If you're going to commit to this kind of uh, tactic or tree, tactics, whatever. Oh, that's a fork. Yeah, it helps to know what forks are, too. All right. So I'm walking into a pin with the belief that you know, if they give me one tempo, I'll just keep attacking. Um, so I'm not so concerned about whatever material I might lose here if the pin stays in effect. It's also possible this pin might not be something they can continue holding. Because um, this bishop's an easy target. Um, if I take here, I'm threatening to win a rook. Hmm. This seems safe. What could possibly go wrong? Nanafun. Hmm. This is fine. We've got this. We're so extremely in control until whatever the bad thing is eventually happens. But for now, we're in control. See? They got one piece attacking. We've got like three defending, right? This is fine. Um... Here. My king is so strong he can defend himself.
Man, I wish I'd had this Kifu ready for Sunday. This would have been a funny one to submit. Just to get the reactions from viewers about, like, hey, something's happening this game. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I could have dropped a knight to defend this, but where's the fun in that? I don't know if I were in their boots what I would do or even consider in that position. It looks extremely wild. Um... Go hmm. Finally hit two down on eighty one dojo. Congrats. Yep. <laughs> I'm falling behind. Transport can finally heckle you, too. I mean, yeah, no, good job. I might be doing something right this game. Maybe. Um. Hmm. All right, let's try this. I'm not fully sure about it. Something. Hmm.
It's not easy. 2分30秒。All right, we'll stick to plan A. This was plan A. I'm just having cold feet, that's all. They take their gold drop, king moves, rook forks the king and the horse. So the horse could go a variety of other locations, but I don't see a way for them to improve their position.、Um, further, I'm threatening a rook drop followed by a gold drop if they do an inner position here. If inner position happens, okay. Let's check. Um, I just, this is too much. I got more than I signed up for here. They're going to try to pick off the knight with gain of tempo.、Um, so they might do a knight drop. But then, some, then they'd be dropping a bishop to take a knight. In order to try to save a horse from being prone to a fork later. Hmm. Yeah, double wing attack seems to be kind of a monster of its own. There seems to be a lot to figure out. Also, if they check me with the knight, I just maybe move away because my gold already covers this, but. Then maybe they got another knight drop. It's hard to count the opponent's pieces. If you look at the two piece stands, one set of pieces is larger than the other set of pieces. Somehow I missed this until I played it. I'm not sure how I could have missed that and seen everything else but missed the obvious. I don't know. But, alright, I got a horse now. Um. <laughs> It's pretty cool, I guess. So, this is my next target. They'll defend it.、Um, and then, shit, I got like two minutes to break this castle. And they've got all the pieces. So, I've not done this right. Or to say it a different way oh, gee, oh my, I fucked up. But, um,. All right, let's just keep going. Sure, why not? Well, hang on. No, I don't seem to have any. Well, yeah, let's try this. Mm hmm. Problem is, they can defend this many different ways, but then I can bring a bishop in to do something. More. Oh, jeez.、Um, sure would help to know how to checkmate instead of just guessing. And I drop something on this square, and then I take the silver, and I don't know. I'm still guessing here. It's. An exciting sort of guesswork. I guess I'm also threatening to. Bishop takes. Or I don't even have to take it.、Um, no, Bishop takes looks really strong in the case they drop here. Alright,、uh, that is a check. Let's avoid some kind of Bishop fork. Okay, just keep avoiding the freaking fork. Okay, thanks for the game. Bishop 2 2 was Suma? 
That's cool. I'll have to take a look. But yeah, thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Rook 3 2 strategy. Oh, we've done that before. Let's see. Whoa. Really? I guess? No, that doesn't... Okay. I don't see a way to exploit that. Um... Sure, why not? I hope this is a move order. <laughs> uh, it might not be. But then the knight up, right? Totally safe? Unless it's not. Um, there we go. Now the knight defends the bishop's head. Hmm. Alright, I'm in trouble. They closed this. No, they didn't. Closing the diagonal would be reasonable. Um. Shit, where am I now? I have no idea. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> uh, okay. Well. Uh, they say don't push the center file pawn if you've done the bishop exchange, but, like, this position is wacky. And we're going to do wacky things in this wacky position. All right. That's kind of a shape, maybe. They're doing subway rook. Exciting. No, don't push that. Push it if you have a death wish, but otherwise pick something else. Okay. Really? Huh. Well, uh, this is... this is an adventure. Um... sure. Alright, we'll push the edge pawn. Push this one, too. Alright. Sure would be nice to have some idea how Shogi is played. Uh, or rather, how to play Bishop Exchange. I don't know the meta. And in case it doesn't show, well, I don't know what to tell you. Do not know what at all to tell you. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll use the silver. This is hanging. Maybe I shouldn't hang things. Um, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't hang things. Oh. Nanafun. I have an idea. There we go. My king can fight for himself. He's a strong king. All right. Wow. All right. Sure. Why not? That looks safe. Um, I mean, I did foresee that, but I didn't think it was serious. 
so uh, what do I think now? It still looks pretty crazy. Do I give the pawn? Of course. Yeah, let's give up the pawn. Why not? Pawn drop blocks the bishop. Oh, hang on. Apparently we're exchanging more than that. Um, okay, sure. Let's see, am I doing this right? Put this there. And then we take all the things. All right, so they weren't on board with me, my capturing all their pieces. They're selecting which ones they want to save now. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, Mike Tyson didn't pop up because the opponent didn't play the swinging rook. Ah, Shogi is not played. Pawns are sacrificed, pieces exchanged, and suddenly someone gets mated. Sounds like a party. All right, so that's one way to force things to exchange. Sure. Um, they're anticipating that I promote and they drop a silver, and that's a fork, right? Um, so I... Well... Hmm. Yeah, no, we just go for it. No hesitation. Oh. Gofun. Okay. Sure. Let's go back here. Let's check. So they either stop my rook or they save the knight. Now granted, if I go pursuing the knight, I'm probably in trouble, but... Um, well, now I've got time to take it and run back. Time might not be the issue, though. I might get mated here for some tangle of pieces might somehow accidentally capture my king. Uh, Time-wise, I'm fine. Um, they don't have a bishop to drop. If they did, I'd be screwed. Alright. Okay, let's go back to the open file. So I've saved my rook. Hooray. Um, I've got two knights in hand, plus my other knight. They're going to try to surround my rook. Maybe I shouldn't have gone back this far. I don't know. Who can say? A free tempo. Thank you. I mean, that does temporarily save the lance. But boy, I need a tempo to figure out what the hell is going on. Um,
3分アイディアス。So many ideas.Such a cramped board.Okay. I play quickly, not out of confidence there, but because I need to play quickly. All right. I do see potentially where they'll try to generate a fork.、Um, I might exchange my bishop over here. I don't know. Or just retreat. No. None of the moves are any good. I should not have dropped the bishop. Now that I've dropped the bishop, I have three targets to defend instead of just two. On the other hand, I could exchange it here to break this open, but. Hmm. Mm hmm. I am so afraid that I'm going to miss one dumb tactic somewhere and this entire thing collapses. That's what I'm afraid of. In retrospect, moving up my knight might have helped. Alright, so now they have two knights. They have this knight and that knight. And once those knights are gone, Um, it might be difficult for them to find an attacking move.、Um, interestingly, the, I don't have a pawn on this file, so I can add a pawn.、Mm -hmm. Oh, right, that thing. Um, All right, let's do something about the rook. Hey, I'm all for doubling down on things. We know how I run these games, right? I can't fault the opponent for using my strategy, unless there's some serious problem with my strategy. Thanks for the game. Yeah. It.、Uh, blitz games are hard. What can you do? So we play the games in order to learn something from them. The more games you play, the more you learn. Hope we've enjoyed these. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.